Hi beauties and girls, it's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl. Yes, we are doing another foundation review. And what am I doing, pray tell? It is the Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation. Oh, it's the essential. It's a must have, y'all. High Coverage Cream Foundation. I didn't find my perfect shade, so I actually got it in two shades. I have it in Macchiato and in Cafe. So these are the two shades, and I will say that these together make my perfect shade, and now that I know how to use this, I absolutely love it. Now, I want to give you an in-depth review while you see me apply this. I did apply it without with nothing at all and then with a radiance primer and then with a mattifying primer and i'm gonna say this is very comfortable and y'all know i have normal to dry skin but this is very very comfortable this is a comfortable mat for me this is probably my favorite mat that i've ever worn in my life okay it is absolutely beautiful but you have to know what to wear under it and i moisturize my skin very very well i use today I use the Mary Kay. This is the oil-free hydrating gel. I really like this. I don't know if this is, uh, oh, this is oil-free. So I'm gonna say this. This is oil-free and my moisturizer and my primer were oil-free. I think that that's very important to know. Otherwise, you know, when you mix oil and water together, if you put something hydrating, sometimes it will break up on you. So that is a very important thing that I feel like uh, with this foundation. You do get 0.68 fluid ounces. You don't get a full ounce. That's usually what you get. So you're almost getting a little bit over a half an ounce. Well, you're almost getting seven. Okay. But I feel like for $38, this is still a good buy just because of how highly pigmented. Like I only need it like a drop, y'all, a drop. And I can say this, I have two shades. I'm so glad that I have two shades. Most of the time I would be like, oh, I don't want to mix. I hate mixing, which I really do. But this is stellar. You may tell you why. Because I was able, I didn't even use any concealer doing this look. Okay. I use macchiato as my highlighter under my eyes. It's so high coverage that I did not use a color corrector or a concealer. I feel like that that's phenomenal and I mix the two to get my perfect shade. I feel like, you know, I definitely want to do a video of like if I could do my makeup, if I could select my makeup products knowing now what I know and purchasing everything and just starting over, I definitely would get two foundations and these would probably be the two that I would pick surprisingly because I thought I would say something else, but this covers amazingly and I really didn't have to set with a powder but I did anyway I did not get any creasing I really really love the way this looks I did use a smoothing primer not necessarily a mattifying I think if you are dry you don't want to go mattifying because this is already this is matte to me now somebody that's oily like my girl CJ she did review this and she said that she didn't feel like it was matte. Now, this would be a comfortable matte, which means that it's not really a true, true matte, like matte and flat. No, but I use the NYX Angel Veil or you can use like the, uh, the what is it? The Mineral Veil by Hourglass. I feel like that this smoothed out perfectly. This one still gives you a bit of moisture, but like doesn't dry you out. And I'm so glad that I used an oil-free Remember, an oil-free moisturizer, I feel like what you put under it is really the outcome that you're going to get because I hated this foundation the first time I used it. And it was because I used a water-based and radiant primer, okay? And I hated it. It broke up all around my nose. But because I used oil-free moisturizer and oil-free, um, the Mineral Veil oil-free, Okay, and then I use this, which was oil free, and it's a winner. Okay, and I feel like that that's definitely a secret that I was actually going to talk about that in a different video. You have to make sure that your moisturizer, your primer, and your foundation matches. So if this is hydrating, you want to make sure it's you know, sometimes mixing them can really 
change the longevity of your foundation, even the look of it. So I really, really do enjoy this. But like I said, it's how you, whatever you put under it, you need to make sure that it matches this. That's just my opinion, you guys. But like I said, I have it in Macchiato and in Cafe, and I'm really shocked about this foundation now that I know how to use it. So it's definitely smooth. I really, really like it. I feel like, uh, and I thought about this when I, when I did this video, I said, if Shape Tape was a foundation, this is how I think Shape Tape would be in foundation form. I really like it. It's very smooth. I didn't even powder my skin. So the flawlessness that you see is this with using a beauty blender. Now, if you saw in the video, I did paint it on first, which I really do like uh, pressing it into the skin and then going and blending it out. It does dry fast. So I would say use it in sections, but I love the look. And let me just say this. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of uh, reviews on this anyway, just because whenever I review something, I want it to be my own like organic thoughts, not necessarily thinking about anybody else's. But this when foundation, when the foundation is applied and then applying other products, because sometimes foundation will make it skip, especially if you haven't powdered it down because this dries down so beautifully, everything on top blended beautifully. Like, <laughs> I am so stunned that I'm even talking about now, not stunned like about Jue because Jue, I really like y'all know I like their luminizing skin tint, but or their moisture tint. I call it skin tint. It's the moisture tint. OK, it is phenomenal and it makes me kind of want to mix these and see what kind of concoction that I get. But I should not be surprised if it's not a good one just because that one is I don't know if that's oil free. I think it is. If it's oil free, I'm trying, but I wanted to try this by itself. I really, really do enjoy the look of this. It is amazing. I love it because I now that I know that I don't have to use a concealer is even more. I love this. I love this foundation and I didn't know that I was going to love it this much, like this much. And people were talking about, I know on Twitter they were talking about how wonderful it is, but you know me, I'm like, let me find out for myself. But I love this foundation. No powder, no concealer. It's a winner. Okay. <laughs> this is a winner to me. I didn't have to powder it down. I did not. I don't even have on blush, but I have on highlight and I have on contour and everything blended so beautifully on and like on it. Most of the time you have to like blend it. I don't know. Y'all, it just blew me away. Okay. I definitely think that this is worth the money totally totally worth the money to me so i hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review i did not expect it to be this long but when i talk about a foundation this long and it's all positive like it's good so thanks so much for watching i'll see beautiful you in the next video bye love you.